Hello there! In this video, we will be looking at how to use the lip sync feature in Kling AI. Let's get started. Over to Kush Sharma. Thank you, Maria. For this process to start, first of all, you do need what we call as a base video on which the lip sync function will be executed. So what is a base video? Let me just show you. It's a video where your subject is basically just looking at the camera like this one. So you can see this is a 10 video, 10 second video that I made on Kling and there's nothing happening except for the fact that she's just looking at the camera. Now, why do you need this? Because ultimately when you get a video like this, this is where we're gonna hit, uh, here you can see this lip sync option and this is where the whole process will start. So the first task is how do we get such a video? Now there are two ways to do this. One is that you can directly, for example, even inside Kling, you can directly generate a video by writing a prompt which will make a video like this. But I don't like to follow the text to video approach for this. The reason for that is because if you're not happy with anything in the video that is generated, for example, maybe the composition, maybe the subject, anything at all, and that is quite possible, then that's just wasted effort because usually these kind of videos will take some time to generate and then you'll just have to do it again. So a better way is to first generate an image because that is usually much faster. And then once you're happy with the particular image that you've got, you turn that into a video like this one inside Kling. You can generate such an image inside Kling. However, I like to use Midjourney simply because Midjourney is the best for it. There's a second benefit of doing this, which is that even right now in mid 2025, image generation still produces more photorealistic results than directly going in for the video. Of course, there are some amazing video generators also out there, but I'm just talking on an average basis. So if you're looking for something photorealistic or close to photorealistic, this is again a better bet that you first create the image and then turn it into the video to form that base video. And the thing that I was talking about, about the trial and error, you can see here that I'm inside mid journey and I actually had to generate a lot of these images because I was looking for a reporter style uh, photograph of a woman. And you can see I had to generate around 20 images before I got something that I liked. And I was using, let me just show you the uh, prompt also. So the prompt was a Brazilian female uh, reporter, that's supposed to be a reporter, dressed in formals, is holding the mic and looking at the camera. She's outdoors, close up headshot from shoulders to head and deep depth of field. Now this is very important, especially this part close up headshot from shoulders to head. The reason for this is ultimately when we do use the lip sync feature inside Kling, it's usually a good idea if the face is very near to the, very near in the frame or is basically filling the frame. It shouldn't be like it's a far away shot where you can see the whole body of the person and the lips basically are not evident because that will be very important for Kling ultimately when you upload your audio and it's gonna make those lip movements. So remember, one of the things is the face should be close. So this much is fine. The closer, the better. Secondly, it's a good idea if your subject is in the center of the frame or at least near the center of the frame. Then the results that you get after the lip sync are usually better. So these are some of the requirements. Once I was happy with this particular image that I got, this is what I took over to Kling to basically form the base video. So that is gonna be our next step. So let's go to, over to Kling. So inside Kling AI, it's a very simple process. Once you go over to video generation, make sure you are on image to video and then select frames and just upload that photo. And this will get converted into a video depending on your prompt. So you can see I've got this done already. So I'm not gonna generate it again, but you can see the prompt here was basically this one. So it looked like this, a woman is looking at the camera. Now, there's one problem with this. If you only write this and you generate the video, there's a good chance that it's not gonna be like this one. Can you see she's just looking at the camera? But let me show you what happened initially. Okay, so if I just go down here, you can see here a woman is looking at the camera, but just, okay, not this one, one second. Yes, so just see this one, okay? I'm just gonna play this. So can you see, even though that the prompt was just about the woman looking in the camera, there was no mention of her talking. It still started producing that movement of the mouth as if she's talking. Now, 
This can be a problem because ultimately when we do use the lip sync feature on such a video, because it already has an existing movement of the mouth, when it tries to sync your own audio and it create that new movement of the lips, it can just be confusing because there was already a movement. So what we want is we, we want to specifically tell Kling that do not have this movement of her mouth. She should not be talking. She should only be looking at the camera like this. So how do you do that? This prompt is okay, but just make sure you scroll down further. And one of the most underrated things in this interface is the negative prompt. So what you can type here is, she should not be talking. If you type something like this, then I've seen that, yes, you're gonna get your desired result. So I've already got the base result here, but what I'm gonna do right now is, I'm gonna create something different. So what you saw in the intro, that of course I've already done, but right now let's do something new. So how will this process work? Now that I've got my base video, I'm gonna hit this option that says lip sync. And once you do that, at this point, one of the good things about Kling is that if it analyzes your video, and remember some of the guidelines I told you about the face being closed and evident, the lips being evident and it being centered. If some of these things are not being followed, it actually tells you at this moment that after analyzing your video quickly, that your video is not suitable for lip sync. Because I did not get such a message, you can see that we are seeing the lip sync interface. So we can now proceed to the next step, which is that you're basically now is the part where you're going to uh, tell it what to say. What should this subject say? Now you have two options again here. As you can see, one is text to speech. That means I can actually type in something here. Like, let's say, hello there. And I, have, I get different voices. For example, hello there. Hello there. Now the problem why I don't like to use this particular approach of text to speech is because you're basically using some of the limited voices given by Kling and they sound very AI-ish, they sound very robotish. So I don't really like to use this approach. A better approach here is to basically use your own file and you can use this option that says upload local dubbing. Now, how do you get such a file? Let me show you an amazing voiceover software, which is undoubtedly the number one right now on the internet. So this software, of course, is Levin Labs, which is amazing for voiceovers, simply because you get so many different voices which sound very natural, and then you can just type in your stuff here and exactly, it's exactly gonna read that out in a very natural sounding voice. Of course, even uh, of course, on the free plan, those voices are slightly gonna be limited. Some of the best ones are obviously restricted to the paid plans, but even I'm on the free plan and they allow you to use it a lot of times. I've given you the link to this exact page, which is the text to uh, speech uh, page. The link will be given in the description. And then it's very, very easy. You just write whatever you wanted to say and then just play around with some of the voices. So here you can go over to this voice section and you can literally search for the type of voice you want. So I had written Brazilian woman and then it starts giving you uh, the voices with those accents, and then you can play those also just to get an idea. Ay, no sabes lo que me pasó hoy. Iba. And once you're happy with the voice, you can just type this out and hit this option that says generate speech. So let's do this right now for the ending frame of this video. So let me just type out the text here. All right, so I've just written this line. We hope you like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We wish you a great day ahead. And then I can just simply hit generate speech. We hope you like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We wish you a great day ahead. So this should be great. So this is consuming, you can we see. We hope you like this video. A Don't forget credits. to like and subscribe. We wish you a great day ahead. But you can see the amount of credits it takes even on the free plan are just very, very less. So you can use it on the free plan very, very easily. Also at this point, I want to tell you about something very, very important. Now, because I had a sort of a reporter persona here, the voice is supposed to be neutral, but what if you wanted the person to be, uh, you know, slightly happier or slightly sadder or have any particular emotion, maybe excited or something like that. So you can play around a lot with the voice here. So if you click on that voice, you do get some options to change that also, or you can select when you're searching for a type of voice, you can select a voice which reflects that emotion, but also from the point of view of Kling, if we go back here, when we are creating our base video, remember I had written in the prompt that 
you know, just a woman looking in the camera, but let's say if she's supposed to be really excited about this, what she's saying, and the voice of course has to then match the emotions that she shows in the video, then just type something like this, like a happy and an excited woman looking at the camera. So that is something that you'll just have to get spot on, both in terms of the base video, as well in terms of the audio. So I hope that that is clear. Now that I'm happy with this, another thing that I have to make sure is the length of this. So you can see this is right now five seconds. So if I go back to Kling, my video here is 10 seconds, but usually a lot of Kling videos, if you don't want to consume too much credits, can also be five seconds. So here the length is important because let's say if this was showing something like eight seconds, maybe I had written more lines here, then obviously when you do the lip sync, it's going to tell you that it's not going to fit and you'll have to trim your audio so it'll just get cut at some particular point. So be careful about the length also. Whatever length is shown here should be equal or lesser to the length of the video that you have generated inside Kling. Since my video is 10 seconds long, I don't mind this being less than that. So what I can do now is I can just download this and then I'm going to go back to Kling and I'm going to upload this file here. And now I can simply hit generate. It's gonna cost me 10 credits. So the total credits for this will be for me in this particular case is 85. Be careful of that because on Kling you can quickly run out of credits, but that's because I had created a 10 second video. If you go for a five second video, the video will be 35 credits on the professional plan and this will be five. So your total cost will be 40 credits. And I recommend that if you're a complete beginner, because sometimes this will require a bit of trial and error. So right now I'm happy with this. I'm going to simply hit generate. Now talking about the waiting part here, you can see right now, even though I'm on the paid plan, it shows me seven minutes. But if you're on the free plan, this is going to take an awful long time. So make sure your chair is not too uncomfortable or just perform some chores or watch some Netflix. But let's wait for the result here. So till the time that video is rendering, I just wanted to give you one bonus tip. There's this great software called as Audio X, and this can basically generate an audio for you just by writing in a prompt. This is completely optional, but let's say I wanted some kind of a background ambient noise because she's outdoors, so I just wanted some outdoor like sound here. This is a great software to and a completely free software to click quickly create such a sound. So what I can do here is by the way, the link is given in the description, I can just type in outdoors in a garden, it only generates five second audio, that's also fine. In this case, it'll actually be perfect. But you can see here, so it should be fine. And I can hit generate, it can actually also, if you upload a full video, it can analyze the video and automatically generate a audio based on that. So this is a really interesting tool here found on huggingface.co, very popular website for these AI tools. I do plan to create a separate tutorial for this. So make sure that you have subscribed. Let's quickly see if our file is done. You can see it's done here. It's pretty quick and I can just play this. So if I want it in an editing software later on, if the lip sync is perfect, I can even put this. In fact, I did this in that intro video that you heard. Now let's go back to Kling and see if our video is ready. All right, so our video is ready. Let's have a closer look. We hope you like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We wish you a great day ahead.